Remember a few years ago when everyone was up in arms about crypto's energy consumption? Bitcoin miners were the villains, burning through enough electricity to power entire countries, and all just to validate their digital transactions. Environmental activists rightfully called out the absurdity of wasting massive amounts of energy, much of it derived from fossil fuels, to solve a problem that could be solved by any number of other lighter footprint ways. The criticism was everywhere, and it was loud. Fast forward to today, and something fascinating has happened. A significant portion of the crypto world has switched to proof-of-stake algorithms instead of proof-of-work. In some cases, this has reduced the energy costs by several orders of magnitude. And those same energy-hungry GPUs that were powering crypto mining farms a few years ago have now been repurposed. For what? You guessed it, machine learning. So now we're looking at much the same or even more powerful hardware running on the same racks, plugged into the same grids, running full tilt yet again. Same energy demands, same fossil fuels, same environmental impact, and sometimes quite a bit more. But now, as if by magic, the outrage has largely evaporated. Now that these processors are training AI models instead of mining Bitcoin, many, many of the most vocal former critics are now silent. This brings us to the research we're looking at today. In this paper, the authors went searching for hard data on the environmental impact of AI. They wanted an answer to what sounds like a simple question. Is AI actually helping? Or is it hurting our climate goals? To find out, they analyzed decades of data, tracking AI development alongside carbon emissions, energy policy decisions, and environmental regulations. On today's episode, we'll walk through their methodology and see what they found. If you're already subscribed to our email newsletter, then you'll be getting this full episode in text, audio, and video form delivered to your inbox in the next few hours. Journal Club the latest academic research explained in plain English.